kwa wakati huu wa uchaguzi where peace is a, is of importance and of great importance for that matter because it can be threatened we want to consider as Philippians, as Kenyans I pray that all of us get the peace of God have the peace of God Jesus said I give my peace so uh, I pray that all of us will have the peace of God in ourselves have the peace of God with ourselves and also have the peace of God amongst ourselves that will help us even when things go away we can be contained because the peace of God is greater than all forms of peace in this world. When I say my amani haiji la pancha, when I say my video, amani hiyo si ya mungu, amani ya mungu, anasema ni nawapa amani yangu. Inaomba, uwe na amani ya mungu katika maisha yako. Ukiwa kijana, uwe na amani ya mungu. Ndiyo, unaweza kukosa hela kidogo, lakini ukiwa na amani ya mungu, you can be composed, and you can think right, and you can do things right. And uh, that will bring God glory. I pray even those that are when at after viti, wawe na amani ya mungu yeyo ni mwana. Unakua wasuasi, umewafanya watu kufanya vitu ulivyo sivyo. Naomba amani ya mungu itawale katika taifaletu la Kenya, county yetu wa Kimithi, let the peace of God prevail for the glory of his name. Nashukuru kwa hivyo, 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 kwa anachukua asilimia kubwa ya bondeshe ya chetu ya Kenya kwa hivyo ni jungu muhimu na vijana wana mawazo na pia wana nafasi ya kubadilisha mama kwa sana vijana wana nafasi ya kubadilisha mama hata kuni mbani kwenu kwa hivyo nafasi ya kubadilisha pale wazee wazazi umetikia kwa hivyo mkua hapa ni watu muhimu sana vijana na mwe hivyo na mtuwe hivyo na kine kilicho danienu Ulo uwezo ulio danienu mkawezi kutuwa mazoenu kwa haji ya kusaidia asa konti yetu ya kinifi kiangalia kule mbebe. Asante na mungu wa bariki. Kwa magina nito wa Mihali Bakari, nafania kazi Supreme Council of Kenya Muslims, kama officer na program coordinator. Na shukuru sana kukata hii fursa kwa ujumuika na nini, the first time to put it kwa tengeza manifesto yetu. Na leo tena tuko mbele yenu ama tumekuja kujumuika tena pamoja to make sure that yale tuliyozungumza ndio wale ambao wamekuwa captured na tunawapeana katika wale tunawaita the duty bearers ndio wao waweze kuwafanyia kazi tuwe na sehemu ama tuishi katika amani umoja na kupiga kura tukiwa na malengo yale tunayostahili I hope we are not about to have at the back of our minds to connect your aspect of what we are doing. So that we are doing, and so that we are going to go forward, and so that we are going to go forward. See you. Amani ni zawadi toka kwa mungu. Yesu mwenye wali kuatia zawadi. Ukipewa zawadi, iko mikono ni mwako. Unaweza kwa mwa kuitunza biema, ama kuichezea, ama kuidarao. Lakini tungependa tuweze kuitumia vyema hii amani. Na zaidi ya yote wakati wote wa uchaguzi ni wakati ambao unatishia amani. Kwa sababu ya maoni tofauti tofauti, misimamo tofauti tofauti, mikakati tofauti tofauti ya watu. Lakini napenda kushukuru viongozi wetu wale wote ambao wanagombania hiyo fulani na hata wale ambao wako tayari katika nyadhi mbalimbali. Mbali kando na tofauti zao ambazo wako nazo wanatuonyesha imani kivipi leo hii tunasikia akisema ah mimi sitaki mtu huyu kabisa mimi sitaki chama hiki kabisa kesho tunaona ameenda pale pale alikuwa anasema hataki na tusikiwa tupigana tunasikia wakipigana ama tunasikia wakiambiwa hapa hatukutaki mitukana nafikiri ni njia moja wapo ya kuonyesha kwamba kuna amani ndani yao hata kama labda haionyeshi vyema lakini tuweze kuiga mfano huo kwamba tunaweza kudumisha amani hata tukiwa katika tofauti zetu sisi kama vijana tunaweza kutumika kama chombo cha kusambaza na kudumisha amani ama chombo cha kudhoofisha amani tufanye uamuzi sisi wenyewe tuweze kuwa viongo vya kudumisha amani asante. Mimi ni rahisi kusema kwamba tunaendea uchaguzi katika hali ya usalama. Lakini ukweli ni kwamba 
uchaguzi tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane utafanyika na utapita. Si ni kweli? Mimi na wewe tutarudi tukatafute muhogo mashambani tukule na maisha yaendelee yaendelee. Kwa hivyo ni fursa ambayo tumepewa ya kidemokrasia ya kwamba tunaendea katika uchaguzi huu na tuchukulie hii opportunity sisi kama vijana ya kwamba tuko na nafasi to exercise our democratic right. Nasema nikisema nini? Hii kama mix wa hii tuko na nafasi ya ku exercise our democratic right na peaceful way. Tuko na nafasi ya kisha kwamba tunatekeleza haki yetu ya kikatiba katika njia ya amani. And for me, kwa sababu mimi si youth tena nimepita kidogo, ningependa kusema kwamba nafasi hii inapopatikana kwa vijana ni nafasi nzuri kwetu. Lazima tuchukulie na tuiembrace ya kwamba nafasi hii tumepewa tufanye jukumu letu. Kwa sababu sisi ndio viongozi wa jana na leo na suala sio kesho. Nafanya kazi na jumuiya ya makanisa MCCK I'm based at the head office na ningetaka kuwajulisha in brief what the NCCK Mulika initiative is all about. Although it is called NCCK Mulika initiative, NCCK is the lead applicant but we are in a consortium. We are partners. We are many partners partnering to deliver this program. Kwa pamoja so I will appreciate some feedback as we go on. So the partners in this arrangement are ELOG. You know ELOG? The institution that is charged with the responsibility of organizing all of us to observe elections. Do we have election observation of observers here? Some, and I know I'm sure we have some. Yes, we have some election observers in the room. Those will be coordinated, and that whole activity is coordinated by ELOG. The second partner is the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights. Munajua Kenya National Commission on Human Rights. They are working closely with IMLU. You are aware about IMLU. And those two partners are helping to deliver one objective. One is helping us during this period to capture or to document human rights aspects of the program. And the other one is sexual and gender-based violence issues related to elections. So please note that this intervention is related to the elections 2022. So, so far, we have ELOG, we have Kenya National Commission on Human Rights, we have IMLU, and then we have the three faiths. Three faiths, that is SUPCA, KCCB, and NCCK, and you have already heard from them this morning. Have you seen their leaderships? They have addressed us this morning. So those three faiths are working together to deliver an objective around this project before, during, and after the general elections. For the general election, we normally don't have a problem with the MCA position, women rep, youth rep, sorry, not youth rep, but Women rep, MP, governor, this was all to who I'm going to sort of do. If you think presidential, you're going to answer to say, ma, it's not clear. Eh? So it is important for those also to sign the, the same history. After we have finished this process, these religious groups will also organize prayer breakfasts. Because all these aspirants right now need a lot of prayers. And that is what we have in plenty. Not so, as Suke, KCCB and NCSK, Siyo Tunajua Kabisa. And when we pray for them, we will not pray for the stronghold and leave the ones who are not in the stronghold. <laughs> we pray for all. We do not discriminate. Up to there, are we together? Now, in case there is a dispute, in case there is a dispute, we have also formed some panels or platforms for eminent persons in each county. They are called mediation teams. And they have already been recruited. They know, I mean, you know, you know the top religious leaders of Kibifu. They will be working together in case there is a dispute, they can be used to mediate so that they can bring peace. See you prepare that 
preparedness is good. So currently they will be given capacity, they will be accompanied so that they can deliver that role very well. The same as it's happening here, even at the national level, the same is happening. To pass out. So we need to be looking into now. We have to be sure that life is peaceful, is safe, is free and fair, credible elections. Some other people are taking care of that at the other level. So that's what the main faith bodies will be dedicated to. Because they are the ones who are the main faith bodies will be delivering for this program. But they are also engaging with institutions key to cohesion. I have had a mention of the Office of the County Commissioner, very important around this time, the police. Senior, should I say anything about the police here so we are aware? And then the IABC themselves, they need a lot of support now, support, a lot of moral support, prayer, everything. Then the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties, maybe they're finishing their role, but still very important. And who else is a critical election institution here in Kilifi? Apart from, oh yeah, the judiciary. Yes, the judiciary, the police, the county commissioner infra infrastructure, IABC, ORPP. Who else is important for us to look after at this time? Yes? NCIC, do you have NCIC here? Or we hear about them? We have them. Okay, some hear about them, some say we have them. So there will be those consultations that will be held in a bit to just make sure we are delivering a, a free, fair, and credible general election. Uh, all protocols observed about the thing. Kwa magina naitwa Alice Kimei Kanindo. Mimi ni Assistant County Commissioner Bahari Division. Na kwa nafasi hii ni namwakilisha County Commissioner ambaye ameshika kidogo kwa mkutano. Kwa hivyo yuko na sisi bali. Kwa sababu nitamtambua kutoka wewe discuss. So kwa kifupi kwa sababu tuko na vijana hata kabla ukiwa ile wakati mwingine wa kuongea ningependa tu kuongelea maswala ya amani kidogo kama vile tuko kwa kwa mfutano wa leo it's just a reflection of during elections na hata after election vile tuko hapa tuko all complexions nini tuko tuko sipe tuko hapa sisi pamoja vijana kwa wazee tuko hapa pamoja na hata political parties zile tuna support kuna wengine ni affiliates wa UDA wengine ni ni wa ODM so the same same way kama hapa tumekuliana kama we are brothers and sisters we are Kenyans we are human sisi wote ni binadamu so the same same thing inatakana ifanyike hata baada ya kura na kabla ya kura usitumike baadaye kuona kwamba huyu alikuwa wa ODM huyu alikuwa wa UDA tuangalie kwamba huyu ni mwanadamu mwenzangu huyu ni ni mkenya mwenzangu kama vile tumeangalia hapa si kweli huyu ni mwanadamu kwa sababu pia ndugu wetu ni nani ni mmoja ndio maana tume tumeletwa pamoja hapa katika hili kanisa la St Thomas na nimeulizwa nisungumzie maneno ya voters education voters education uh, stroke civic education it's a very very important component uh, katika masuala ya maendeleo but before i go to uh, the voters education so how did we come to have this constitution everybody is saying that we have a new constitution kenya has a, uh, a new constitution how did we how did it come to have uh, a new constitution election violence uh, those mediators uh, who are the of demand they came to the conclusion that Kenya needs a new constitution to avoid uh, a repeat of the 2017 general election. Uh, thank you so much. Kenya experienced uh, post-election violence. Uh, there was someone, Ambaye Kwa Netwa, Dr. Kofi Annan, Ambaye Sasa, uh, is the late Dr. Kofi Annan. Ambaye was brought to Kenya to mediate, uh, to bring bo both parties together. Uh, the Kibaki led team, and also the Raila Odinga led team to come together to discuss and to come to an agreement. So when Kofi Annan came to Kenya and, you know, took charge of the National Dialogue and Reconciliation Agreement, during that conversation, four agenda items were discussed. The agenda item number one was to stop violence. 
agenda item number one was to stop violence. And that is when, for the first time, you saw Akibaki and Raila uh, coming to the public and shaking hands. Handshake. Waka, waka fanya handshake kwa mara kwanza na wale wa Kenya wote wakaona kwa National TV kwamba Kibaki na Raila wanasalimiana kwa mara ya kwanza. Kibaki took the initiative of telling his supporters kwamba tafadhali ni tulieni uh, we are discussing and tutakubaliana. Kwa hivyo nyamazeni wacheni mapigano. Raila pia akaambia supporters wake tuache mapigano. So that was the agenda item number 1. Agenda item number 2 was to address humanitarian crisis. To address humanitarian crisis was to resettle the IDPs. You are aware that we had more than 300,000 people who are, have been displaced, landless. So how do, we, how do these people come to their normal lives? So now the agenda item number two was to address humanitarian crisis. Agenda item number three was power sharing deal. And power sharing deal that is the agenda that gave Kenya what we call the coalition government. We had a coalition government uh, from 2007 up to 2013 because of the agenda item number three of the National Dialogue and Reconciliation Agreement. And for the first time, when Kibaki and Raila met, a bloated cabinet. 42 cabinet ministers, 21 for Kibaki and 21 for Raila. 42 cabinet, cabinet ministers and 54 assistant ministers. Huh? 27 for Raila and 27 for, for Kibaki. We had a bloated cabinet for the first time. That was as a result of the agenda item number three. Number four, agenda item number four was institutional and constitutional reforms. Institutional and constitutional reforms. Under this agenda item number four, Issues of electoral reforms were discussed. Issues of electoral reforms were discussed. Issues of boundary reforms were discussed. Issues of youth unemployment. Youth issues of public service uh, reforms. Issues of reforming the judiciary were reforms were discussed. Issues of having a constitution also was discussed. Issues of land they were discussed in agenda item number four. So in ag under agenda item number four particularly the, the component of the constitution, now Kibaki and Raila were taxed by the Kofi Annan to give Kenyans a new constitution. So Kibaki and Raila came together and formed what we call the Committee of Experts. Committee of Experts. This Committee of Experts was led by the late Nzamba Kitonga. Nzamba Kitonga was the chairperson of the Committee of Experts that assisted or led Kenya to have a new constitution. Uh, for me, it manifests for enhanced accountability. Accountability is not, if not only during elections. Not accountability, the man, our manifesto is supposed to assist us in holding uh, the candidates before election, during election, and after election. It should be a continuous uh, process. So, at the county level, at the county level, we have the county assembly. And as the organ that makes laws, the county assembly. Number two, we have the county executive committee. Who leads the county executive committee? The governor. Katibe Nasema, uh, each and every county will elect one representative to, to be in charge of all the affairs of that particular county. And that person is the governor. The governor, according to the constitution, before uh, he goes to the election, right now in uh, each and every governor and uh, president is supposed to nominate a person to be, to be called a running mate. So when you go to election, you already have uh, your running mate. When you are voted in, you become the governor and he becomes the, the deputy governor. When you are elected in as the president, your second person will be the deputy uh, president. The deputy president deputizes the president. The deputy governor deputizes uh, the governor. So the, com the, comp the, the composition of the county executive, it is the governor, the deputy governor, and 10 other members appointed by the governor outside the county assembly with the approval of the county assembly. Governor Kichaguliwa 
Ah uh, katiba inamwambia ata appoint 10 other members nje ya bunge lakini lazima waje waidhinishwe kwamba wa approved na members of counter assembly. So the governor uh, ele the governor elected amekuwa um, amekuwa sworn in will appoint 10 people uh, with different expertise outside outside the counter assembly but with approval of the counter assembly. Those people will be called the county executive committee members. CECM, county executive committee members. Now ndo nyinyi mnawaita mawaziri. Si ni kweli? Nasikia waziri wa office ya governor, waziri wa health, devolution, they are the county executive uh, committee members. Sawa sawa. Thank you my brother. Last but not least, the third arm of uh, the county uh, government is the county public service board. The county public service board is in charge of uh, hiring the personnel and uh, human resource of the county and uh, always kufanya hizo kazote katika county. What advertise, people will uh, apply for those jobs, interviews will be called, short listing will be conducted and the uh, the winners, ama wala patuko mepita, the interviews will be called uh, by the county public service board to join the staff or the personnel of the county uh, government. Yes, it's uh, concerning the affirmative action plan that uh, a higher percentage of dudes have not accessed those plans. So, is there a legal, uh, okay, is there a legal entity or a legal procedure to follow if, if the affirmative action plan not, okay, it's not accessible. Thank you. If you read Article 10, sub Article 2 of our Constitution, provides for the national values and principles of governance. And one of the fundamental right, one of the fundamental values in Article 10, sub Article 2, is transparency and accountability. There is rule of law. There is equity. There is equality. There is inclusiveness. There is a uh, devolution and sharing of powers. There is what we call transparency and accountability, and sustainable development, respect for human rights, and many other uh, values. It is, their du it is the duty, I've said, power uh, in the constitution uh, belongs to the people of, of Kenya. You have a duty and an obligation to conduct an audit, a social audit or an audit of your fund. It is not the fund of a women rep. It is not the fund of a member of the National Assembly. It is not funds, uh, you know, being held by, by the county government or maybe by the governor. Simple sazao. Simple sazao. What we are supposed to do, we need to access to request to, to do letters, request for information from public office of how much money has been allocated for affirmative action fund and see whether that money has been utilized in a prudent way. ...of jobs, opportunities. We can away you are going to be some more of way. Kama inga lukua pengine ya sihi sector ya kikipiki, sihi kama sisi vijana wengine kine kwa wana. Kwa sababu moja, vijana wengi hawa kufika hili ya standard ya kukeke ni otakitani. Ni kwa sababu wazazi hawana hile, hawana pesa ya kwa kumishia. So most of them we might drop out. That's a mood as a drop out and the media pick pick. Mood as a drop out and the media pick pick. That's a new term in the one year of Azira is Yahoo Kijana, Eda, and Soma, and Mahaku Soma, here and the Yaka Kahile industry. When you're going to say, man, a Kazi, creation of, uh, of job opportunities, easy, easy to angalie me, no ambazo, to the Kwamba. Security. Security yet to pay in three issues, it attached into issues. Una the rising cases of extremism guns. I'm over his cases to number the Vijana way to him for Hapa. I don't think one of you is in those guns. I like to have security uh, coupled with the uh, police excesses. Because the police are not going to be able to do it, they are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do
500 aliena 200 akitoa anatoweza wengine wanapelekwa kule kwa cases kwa hivyo hizo hizo police excesses kwa na kwa registration of persons uh, living in uh, the county kwa mfano tuna kina watu wameandikwa nyumba kumi wale nyumba kumi wanajua wageni walio kuja within na wanafanya kazi lakini ubaya hawa sisi na chochote hawalipi chochote kwa hivyo tuangalie nyumba kumi wanatusaidia sana wageni wanapoingia wanao ambao wanaweza hizi extremes in guns guns tujue nani amekuja kwa nyumba fulani na nani kwa hivyo eh bwana owe tuangalie hawa nyumba kumi what are we doing to them we will get fire card here so the first point eh, ni public community ipatie capacity ya kujua information ambayo wako nayo kwa wageni ambao wako nazo ndio ya kujua ni demands gani ambazo rights gani ambazo wanafuata from the legal community kwa na information zaidi ya za kujua rights zao ni gani na hivyo wataweza kuzipigania alafu nyingine ni kukuwa na accountability forum zikuwe zinakuwa gen kila time kutokana na hizi vitu ambazo watu wanataka kufanywa so from time to time watu ni wajua progress ya gani imefanyika ni wapi kuna kufanyishwa implementation plan flani ni kitu cha kufanyika and the third point ni hizi public sub public offices zikuwe na service charter service charter ni hii information for certain services certain offices ziko na certain services sababu kama mashinani watu wengi wajui kama office gani ina offer which services so ikiwa itakuwa kuzuri kama to kwa hivyo hizo offices zitaweza kuwa na information na hata hiyo kwa mtu ana shida fulani ni kama alikana point nyingine ni kwa na regular staffing historia kama ya kuemploy watu kila mara is quite like one thing thing watu ni kwa from time to time na so employ ndio wengine wakutoka wengine waingie tusikue na shida ya employees alafu hizi ICU hizo departments ni ambazo ziko kwa county tunajua kwa dizipo na wengine wengine atazifanya kazi so tunataka ziweze kupewa anapo equipment zile ambazo zinahitajika ndio ziweze kusaidia wananchi wote wa kawaida and the last point bado ni hivyo hivyo kwa equip hizi county hospitals ni ambazo ziko around tunajua kwa ziko na zina ina facilities so hizo pia ziko equip ndio mtu asitoke hapo kwa kutafuta matibabu mbali na ziko na hospitals pia hapa majority of the county is led by men the youth are often left out of, of uh, the processes that shape the current and future of this county for this reason honorable members the youth of kilifi demand the following mark the word demand we demand full involvement of youth and when i say youth it is both gender in strategic decision making governance and leadership and leadership to we demand the full involvement and engagement of youth in the homes schools and workplaces three we demand more concerted efforts to build relationships based on mutual support and respect between young people across the whole county and society we also demand foster knowledge sharing and stand in solidarity on issues directly affecting the youth and the last one but not least we demand comprehensive education and to be equipped with skills necessary to ourselves in conclusion we say devolved government structures are created to cope on matters of service delivery honorable members this month facebook is a product of the residents of kilifi of kilifi county and if these demands are implemented kilifi county will live in prosperity among its residents nothing for the youth without the youth Viva Congress, viva! Viva! Mambo economic empowerment, and I like what you said, uh, Chairman of the Board. Kazi ni kazi, but our motto on kazi ni kazi is that every job must be respected. Sio kazi ni kazi peki yake, lakini kazi ya Boda Boda ni kazi, it has to be respected. Kazi ya yule mawa na uza mboga pale, ni kazi pia lazima iva nini? Yeshimiwe. When we respect everybody's hassle, then this country will have a good economy. That is what you are saying in terms of that. So, me and Dr. Bia Bijana about about the next the dispensation that we have, we will ensure that we respect. Now, to respect a job, it's first to recognize it. When you recognize it, then a bank will also recognize it. Because you turn away, you say, "Me, me, about about na getting this much money na wende iku si bank upe mkopo because iyo kazi na heshimika na iyo kazi ina kuwa recognized. The future of this country.
is in the hands of the because you are almost 70% of the voting population. The decision that you make affects you more than it affects other people because it affects you for a longer time. So as we go into an election, there are two things that I would request the youth to do. One, ensure there is a peaceful election. If we have peaceful elections, it means the will of the people will be expressed without fear. Because they know this guy can do work. Lakini vijana wengine watoke waende wa disrupt ile election. Zile kura hazita pigwa pale. Sikio hapa naendelea. Zile kura kama hazita pigwa pale it means the will of the people have not been has not been expressed. Kama watu wanaenda kwa mkutano to hear the manifestos and the issues that are people are talking about. Lakini wewe u organize vijana waje wa disrupt ile mkutano. Information will not get to the people. So information does not get to the people. People will be elected without the right information. Or people will go to the polls uninformed. And therefore they will make decisions which are not informed. So it is good to have a peaceful election. Rani Nafanyika Hapa, respect that team to hold that rally because they are educating. Wale watu wakitoka pali watasema, huyu ni kiongozi, ama huyu si kiongozi. That is what will inform them to make a good choice at election. Lakini kama nini vijana mesema, kijana mimi mekuja hapa wa mbae mesema chukwe nishin gini ambili mbili pala nendo ni disrupt yuli. Lakini yuli hamta sikia anataka kusema nini. Manifesto yake ni nini. So people will be elected on a basis of no information. So peace during election is very important. Before and during elections and after election. This country was destroyed not before elections in 2007, not before elections, not during elections, but after elections. That is what happened in 2007. In 2017, we also all had almost a similar scenario. Watu walienda vizuri, wakasikiza manifesto za watu, wakaenda, wakapigia kura vizuri, lakini baada ya kura, Nairobi was ungovernable. With the highest GDP in this country, it was ungovernable. Other places started becoming, the economy collapsed because of something that happened after elections. So it is our duty as young people to ensure peace before, during, and after the elections to secure the economic gains for this country. Sahimo Meskia, I don't know how true it is, this, this economy has grown by 7.9%. 7.9%. Yeah, 7.9%. Almost the same as during Kibaki's. But Kibaki's economy had reached almost 8 growth. But immediately after elections, what happened? It came down to almost 2.4. We are saying this economy has reached 7.9. Probably we'll have another focus. The economic survey that was be done in July will have another focus. Probably the economy will grow up to 8 post COVID. Then immediately after elections, when there is no peace, what happens? It goes down. Wewe kama kuna boda boda, unanipa bank, hawezi lipa, inakuja nipa nini, nachukulio. If your parent was supposed to do some business, ili ya pata peleke mtoto shule, atakuha na pesa, mtoto hata enda shule. So I want to ask you, I want to ask you, on the issue of peace, we have no choice. We must ensure there is peace in this country. On the issue of accountability, I want to say we must hold our people accountable. We must hold leaders accountable. We are given resources. I'm a custodian of resources. Mimi kama mbunge, I'm a custodian of resources. MCA is also a custodian of over 35, 35 million in a year. I am a custodian of almost 137 million in a year. How well have I used people's money? so much MCA Mura, we appreciate your commitment and the service to this community. Muheshmiwa uh, Owen, we yeah. really appreciate uh, your support you. and commitment. Uh, this is going to be one of our greatest achievements, having uh, Mr. Owen support you. Mm -hmm. Thank and you. This is very, uh, yes. Lastly, lastly, we have a uh, the peace charters, we want you to, to have them, even as they do that, 
One of us will help us read, eh? so, so that it is loud. So he will help us read, and then Mahishimiwa will uh, follow through. Yeah. And then we... Okay, my name is Abdana Charo Kahim from Tepenwa, youth leader. I'm going to be following. Acknowledging the supremacy of the almighty God of all nations, proud, proud of ethnic culture and religious diversity, and determined to live peace and unity as one indivisible sovereignty nation. Committed to nurture and protect the well-being of individuals, the family, communities, and the nation. Regretting that Kenyan zero elections have in the past been characterized by division of discord and violence. I, so, so being candidate of 2022 20, general election, solemnly pledged and promised to do the following before, during, and after the general elections that I will pursue peace and prosperity of our beloved country, Kenya, by a word and deed that I will respect the freedom of all Kenyans to participate in election freely, safely, and independently. Number three, that I will accept the results of the vote announced by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. That if agreed by the results of the vote, I will seek justice in the court of law. Signed on the 13th of May 2022 at ECK Church, St. Thomas Kibu. Okay. To pick a copy, one copy. Uh, the religious leaders can help us sign in terms of the uh, witnesses. Um, our, our leaders will take one copy, we will remain with one copy, and we will say that we are supporting these leaders because they support peace and security in this region. So thank you so much, I appreciate it. Religious leaders who can come on to witness that. This is one of the greatest ceremonies that we are witnessing today. And this is going to record that we have political leaders who stand for peace in this region. So God bless you so much. Highly appreciated. Uh, Father, you can help us. Thank you. Thank you. This is very beautiful. Very beautiful. We can give them a round of applause. We appreciate. We appreciate. Um, so we will have.